up, guys? I hope you enjoyed that review that I just did, or the performance aspect of the KD-8. Um, I really had fun doing this shoe. I really had fun working out in this shoe, playing in this shoe. I was very excited for this shoe. This was a dope shoe, especially to have Nike's new tech on it with the articulated zoom down here, and then you got your flywheel upper. I was really, really looking forward to those two things. So because the Jordan 29 upper is flyweave as well, so having a low top with flyweave, that was just just on the scale for me to be like, yo, I got to see this shoe, I got to have this shoe. So, But anyways, um, about the flyweave upper up here, it's, it's awesome, it's soft, it's plush. You know, on the outside, it might seem like it's kind of rough, it feels like, but when you put it on, it just holds you like a glove. You really can't even complain. Um, these flywire patterns right here, the flywire on this side, on the outside, and on the inside, lock you in super super tight the tighter you pull it the more lock you in i'm talking about literally like you cut off your circulation and your foot will go numb on the court if you do it too tight because the shoe is as it is is already really tight and it already is like snug this shoe is definitely for kd like somebody who has like a skinny foot so people who have fat feet i do not recommend this shoe to you whatsoever stay away and if you're gonna get it and not listen that's totally fine but go a size up or a half a size up these do fit true to size for people who actually have like a skinny foot but if you have a fat foot it's not gonna work for you so don't even try it so um i actually have a skinny foot so these worked out perfect for me now as far as like everything else goes the traction was awesome as you could tell i gave the thumbs up and then from there the uh the biggest problem that i want to say i had was the heel counter and it really wasn't that big it was just brief if i can get in here and focus for a second but anyways it was the heel counter the saber tooth thing right here for the teeth you feel it on the inside on the side you really do feel it when your ankles in there but the problem is is this this little this little heel tab area right here i, I definitely don't like it because i ended up going to the basket a couple of times and i had people stepping on the back and at one point in time somebody stepped on it and my shoe my like whole foot came out so that's not really cool to me but you know how often will it really happen i really don't know because of that end so we'll just have to keep playing and see um the best thing about this shoe is besides the fly flyweave upper is the articulated zoom obviously right here and it's like small full length zoom but just really thin and really responsive so you really can't complain about it because you feel it you definitely feel it you don't feel it anywhere from here back it's just up here where it's broken down so it can bend where it has like that free light cuts like a nike free you definitely feel it in here you definitely feel when you make a move or if you pushing off you definitely feel that responsiveness so that's something really really great and i think kd's gonna ball out in this shoe just because of the fact of he's gonna have that cushion that responsiveness and it, he's just gonna be okay because i think the reason they, get, they gave him this type of articulated zoom and put it in his shoes because of his injury so but you definitely feel it um aesthetically man there's nothing really crazy about the shoe like in between the grooves right here he has like his people's name like his family members and stuff like that right here he has three five so nothing special the um the traction pattern actually mimics the flyweave upper so that's why you got this you know this crazy looking i guess like digi line type you know traction pattern um on the court it's really great i couldn't complain when i worked out in them and when i played in them i didn't have any problem so i worked out that day and then i actually played in them twice i only took footage of one game and then i played a different game later on in the week but i only took footage from that one game just briefly so um but yeah man let me know what you think about this shoe. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, anything whatsoever, feel free to comment below. I'll respond as fast as I can. I'll give you my honest opinion. Um, but uh, for any guards, I think this is a great guard shoe. Maybe a swing forward, somebody like that. It'd be perfect for you guys. Somebody, if you like the ankle, you know, you like it low because of the ankle. If you like it high for ankle protection, you know, you got to pick your poison. But this is a definitely a great guard shoe. And I recommend it. So uh, I really want to give this shoe 9 out of 10. Only thing I probably would take me away from 9 out of 10 is the fact that that whole heel counter situation back here with this tab. That really bugs me. But hey, you know, it's something really small. It's not going to stop me from playing in them. So, but anyways, this is Love My Kicks. Um, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. And let me know, alright? I'm out. Peace. <laughs>